what Disney princesses look like with tattoos of their sidekicks and stories. It's like I'm seeing a whole new side of them. Hey everyone, this is May Yu. I'm glad to see you here on another fun Friday. Every Friday, I try to do something new, fun, or challenging. I'm super excited for this video because this is the first video in a brand new series I'm doing called Princesses with Tattoos. So basically, I'm going to reimagine different Disney princesses as beautiful modern young women with tattoos all over their legs, arms, and bodies. And I'm going to be designing the tattoos in such a way so that it reflects parts of their, like either their personalities or their backstories, their fairy tale, and other characters, including including some sidekicks or even some villains. And so it's gonna be really interesting and I'm looking forward to this so much. I cannot wait to see how beautiful I can make these Disney princesses with their own unique special tattoos. I've just released Princesses with Tattoos, coloring book and art book in one on Amazon. This includes all the princess designs in this art challenge and more infos later in this video. I think I'm gonna love this art challenge, especially because it's just so different for me to think about Disney princesses with tattoos. Like, whenever I think about Disney princesses, I almost never think about tattoos or them with tattoos. But if I think about them like together, I think that's a very interesting like concept. You know, I feel like as I was designing the pieces for this video, I'm seeing a whole new side to them or like they're you know, like just some part of them that I haven't really seen or noticed or am familiar with before. And now I'm kind of drawing them out, <laughs> pun intended. And uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be really cool. I think especially the designing of the tattoos part for each princess. Obviously I'm gonna make everyone's tattoos different and unique to her. So it'll be really fun to see how I like kind of translate either their story elements or their friends or their foes into actually like actual tattoos that make sense on like, you know, a person's body. Before I forget, I wanted to say thank you to all of you who liked and commented in my previous Fun Friday video where I recreated the Scream painting, which is like a $120 million painting using only $1 crayons. And I'm glad you enjoyed it. It was so much fun to do. I think another unique thing about this uh, particular art challenge is the fact that I'm going to do some background elements along with the princess as well. So for example, like I'm gonna make Sleeping Beauty. She's gonna be sitting on, um, well, something you'll see in the end, but it's going to have a connection or some kind of um, like element that reminds me of her story in this piece so I feel it's not just like her as a modern woman with tattoos like the entire design itself is really beautiful and the entire design could also be a tattoo by itself all right something new I learned while I was doing this art challenge originally I was thinking oh it's gonna be really easy to just you know put tattoo designs all over like uh, you know, a leg or an arm uh, and just, you know, have it as pretty tattoos on someone. But as I was designing this, I realized that not just any design is going to work on a specific body part or area. Like, for example, the legs. I was thinking about, you know, it's a cylindrical um, area that I have to work with. And I was thinking what kind of design would kind of make sense on like that kind of uh, body part or the shape of the leg, for example, where on the leg. I was thinking if I could wrap things around the leg, like how the vines and the thorns kind of wrap around her, her leg in the front and then the uh, far leg has the dragon and the wing kind of covers the knee area. I thought that like just those little tiny details make or help make the tattoos look like they really belong in that body area and it's not just I'm just drawing pretty pictures on someone's body.
Originally, I was thinking of giving her some animal tattoos as well, like some birds, for example, because uh, she loves to talk to animals. But as I was designing this piece, I kind of like how she is sitting on, like, you know, the roses and then the vines come up around her. I thought that design element was interesting, but I felt the upper part of the piece was a little bare. So I was thinking if I added birds, you know, on the outside and just, you know, around her, it kind of balances the piece out and it also helps frame her like head in this design and I really like that. I really like how I designed my Sleeping Beauty to be, you know, like this, like elegant, glamorous, modern, and her tattoos is just, it's so beautiful, but has a little bit of edge to it too, which I really like. And I'm just so in love with this design. All right, for the second princess, I'm going to be doing obviously very different tattoo designs and the overall look is going to be quite different as well, especially the, you know, the background elements around her and her outfit. I'm going to try to make every single princess in this art challenge just uniquely her own. As I was starting this piece, I was getting really excited because, you know, knowing Jasmine's backstory and the whole, you know, Aladdin um, environment and uh, like her sidekicks and the villains in this uh, story, I was thinking, how am I going to balance all of that? And who am I going to draw? Where am I going to put them as tattoos and all of that? So there was a lot of creative opportunities just waiting to be explored. I also wanted some tattoos to be a little bit on the smaller side so I can use their small size to like scatter them around different areas of her body like the jasmine flowers. I was looking up different like jasmine flower types and the shapes and there's just such beautiful flowers. I love them and I love designing them in this way, you know, on her arm and I'm gonna do some more in the background. For the tattoos on her legs especially, I really wanted to have a sense of like a nice flow to them or some kind of organic energy. So I was thinking of different ways to wrap like designs around her legs and what kind of things could I draw that can actually look like they'll look natural wrapping around, you know, like a leg. And then eventually I was thinking if I stylized like a tiger tattoo and the magic carpet in some way so that they kind of flow around her legs, I think that'll they'll make this piece look more organic and not too stiff. Guess what kind of tattoo I'm drawing now? So originally I was thinking about if I should include some kind of villain tattoo into my design for this princess and if I added Jafar in some way, would that look really elegant on uh, like her shoulder? I was thinking, maybe not, but what else can I do to kind of make the tattoo look like it's wrapping around, ideally? And I was thinking about, well, okay, the cobra that Jafar turns into in the movie, so I thought that was perfect. Many of you also told me you love watching me color and blend. I'm continuing my Relax, Study, Color With Me video series, where you can chill with me as I color in my different coloring books all in real time. Hope these videos help you relieve your stress, and if you have the same titles, color along with me. Okay, honestly, I am loving this Raja tattoo. I love how the body is so stylized and it wraps itself like the torso curves around the leg and then the tail just continues that movement and it coils around the leg down to you know near the bottom i just love that flow it's very organic and i feel like everything in this piece especially just how i handle the flowing lines it feels like they're all connected and they flow into each other
I also really like the outfit I gave my modern Jasmine with this like off-shoulder crop top. I like the asymmetry of this design and then with that necklace that kind of has this nice design in the middle. It kind of solidifies everything together and I just like, you know, imagining these princesses in such a different way. Like if you've been following my videos for a while, you'll probably know that I love reimagining different characters in various types of like environments or, you know, different time periods, even different ages uh, or genders. So this is another way for me to express myself through like the, the creative process of reimagining different characters. And I really wanted to make this piece special to Jasmine, so I made her sit on top a very luxurious, ornate magic lamp. I just love the detailing in this lamp and the coloring, the like the the way I handle the lights and darks. It looks very rich and metallic. It's just so beautiful. I love, you know, how everything is coming together in this piece. And this design, along with all the other princesses in this video, will be included in my new Princesses with Tattoos coloring book. I can't wait to see how you take this image and color in your own ways. I know you're going to do such a good job, and I am so excited. I thought it'd be a nice touch to add some blues into her highlights in the hair as well, just to kind of make all of the colors really blend together. And I love how the blues go from dark to light as I layer the strokes on top of the black. Ah, I just love this. Okay, here is a recent Disney princess, and I'm going to imagine her as a modern girl with beautiful striking tattoos but something about this piece you know I'm gonna make things a little bit different from the others and you're gonna see why in a moment but yeah let's see how Raya is gonna look like with her tattoos so you might be wondering why I'm giving most of these characters crop tops Basically, I want to maximize the areas that I can put tattoos on. I thought for my Raya design, I wanted to give her more of a sporty look. So I have a cute little short jacket on top and it just opens up into her crop top. So I thought, you know, just by taking various little elements of each princess's like uh, personalities or what they like to do and then just putting that into their outfit. I think that's really nice. And it also helps make each individual princess look more, you know, like their own person. And same goes with her shoes. So originally I was thinking of just giving all the princesses like some kind of high heeled like boot or like um like a high heel shoe but because Raya's more like active she comes across to me as more of a sporty you know tough character so I was thinking it would be really fun if I still kept that height in her shoes but they're not like super girly these are you know sneakers they look really cool tomboyish but they do have that height I also love getting the different elements of her outfit and parts of the story into her tattoos as well. So for this piece, I wanted to have her sit with her like sidekick and not necessarily like just other things or like flowers. I felt this could be like a really nice interesting like composition because you have the main figure and then I have Sisu the dragon so she has her light like her nice long um, body kind of coiled around and behind and then goes up to face Raya and I think that design is quite unique and it's different from the other two I've done. But I wanted to stylize the dragon as well, so I didn't want to make the dragon look like so 
uh, like too cartoony. I wanted to stylize it in such a way so that it looks like it could be like an actual tattoo design. I simplified some elements of the body and stylized some other parts. So I think overall it kind of, you know, it fits more with my, uh, the point of this art challenge. I can see this piece already in full color in my mind, like as I was coloring it. I think it's gonna look really nice with Raya because uh, Raya's colors, her outfit and everything, she's gonna have more like warmer colors. And then for Sisu, her dragon, which is behind her, it's mainly more like, you know, on the cooler side of things. So we have this nice contrast. And I think especially when I finish it, when I color the dragon in such a way so that it has these pretty like almost magical um, little color effects on the body and the tail. I think it's gonna look really nice. In case you need a free hug, you can check out this video or you can send this video to someone to cheer them up. Oh, my dearest little putty bean. That ice blue is so calming. Okay, so this is really fun. I'm dotting these different areas on the tail with my like different colors and it just really brings out the like a different effect, a different feeling. It kind of makes the tail look a little shimmery, which I really like. And I'm a fan of how the pink is playing with the different blues on the body. It gives the body like this shiny feel. And as the pink recedes into the purple because it's blended on top of the blue, it makes the like the dimension of the body more 3D. I love this, Raya and Sisu. Okay, and the last princess is gonna be my favorite princess of all time. Let's see how Ariel is gonna look like as a modern, beautiful young woman with a lot of tattoos on her. And I wonder how I'm gonna handle the tattoos so it reflects her, you know, background, her environment, her home, and a little bit of her story. One of my favorite things to draw is the hair and face of my characters. If you love my art and want to learn how to draw from me, take advantage of my years of art experience and my huge collection of how to draw books and ebooks on the Mayu Bookstore on Amazon. I'm constantly making more on all kinds of topics to help you build your art skills so you can create anything you have in mind like a pro. You can read my ebooks for free if you ask your public library or school library to order my books. Just give your librarian my author name, May Yu, and the titles you want them to order for you. See my bookstore on Amazon and you can list out which books you like. Many libraries and schools have already ordered my ebooks for their systems from the US and Australia. If your school or library doesn't have my ebooks yet, then definitely ask your librarian to order them for you so you can read them for free, and plus, other people could also benefit from them. I hope this helps. The link to my Mayu bookstore is in the video description. No matter if you're ordering for yourself or getting your librarian to get them for you, I hope my books can help you. It's like having me right there with you as you draw. Keep up the great work. I'm already loving the energy of this piece, especially how her hair is kind of flowing and swaying behind her. I think the shapes and just how I stylize the strands and the pieces of hair, it's so organic and beautiful and very stylish. I just love making the sidekicks 
into these tattoos for these gorgeous princesses. I'm thinking about Flounder and how I can stylize him into something that looks more like elegant. Because, you know, Flounder's a very cute looking character. He has a lot of round, cuddly, soft, curved lines in his design, which is really nice. But I think for this particular challenge, I want things to have a, a particular look to them. The lines are more stylized in like certain ways, and I'm going to treat the the like shapes in a very different way from like how I usually do different cuddly or semi-realistic characters. So in this piece, I'm going to sharpen some of the edges and the corners and exaggerate some things and maybe take away some things so that it looks more like a unique piece of art and it could look like a tattoo. In case you're new to my channel or if you want to revisit some other fan favorite videos of mine, you can see how I drew Ariel in 10 different art styles and like different fandoms and universes. I hope you enjoy and let me know which art style was your favorite. Was it one of the anime ones, the Picasso Ariel, or was it something else? I'm really liking her background that I'm doing, all the different elements, the water, the tidal wave, the energy of everything, and then of course the dolphin and the uh, octopus that she's with. I feel this background is so, you know, obviously it's such a good connection to her story and the setting, but I also feel that they really contribute to the overall like tattoo design of this piece. And I also kind of like how I got the villain of her story in this piece, but without drawing anything of Ursula. Because sometimes I do like to keep things more on the subtle side. I was thinking if I did a tattoo of Ursula on uh, Ariel's leg or something, like that would be nice too, but it's kind of too similar to what I've done already with uh, Sleeping Beauty, for example, and Jasmine. They have tattoos of their villains on them somehow. So I think in this case, I'm going to go in a different direction. I really love tattoos and especially those large ones with the background colors in them and they sometimes have these nice blends of color and they shift in color as they go up or down a leg or an arm. So I'm trying to do that with the colors on the leg right here and I think overall after this is done, I think this is going to look so, so beautiful. I can't wait for you to own my newest coloring book called Princesses with Tattoos. Coloring book and art book in one. This title has all of the gorgeous princess designs I've created in this video, as well as lots of new ones in future videos of the series, so you'll get never before seen princess designs that are not even shown on my YouTube channel yet. This is my first fusion coloring book that's part coloring book and part art book. You have the full color art for each design and the black and white line art to color right beside. This is such a creative way to enjoy my coloring book because you get the original colors right in front of you as inspiration. You can choose similar colors or you can try something totally different. Each black and white line art image has its own black page on the other side, so this will help to prevent any bleed through. This book has a curated collection of different tattooed princesses, plus a bonus duplicate set of the same princess designs, this time with alternative color schemes. Because, you know, there's more than one way to color. The duplicate set also comes with all of the black and white line art right beside, so you can experiment with different color schemes, art supplies, or techniques. You can also color with friends and family. Imagine coloring these gorgeous princesses with exquisite tattoos any way you like. Create your own masterpieces and make special memories to look back on. Relax and let your imagination take over. I made two different sizes to suit your creativity, the regular and the large. Get these new books now on my Mayu bookstore on Amazon. The link's in the video description. Happy coloring! I'm really liking how the purple octopus helps bring out the other colors. All right, let me know which princess with tattoos was your favorite. And if you ever got a tattoo, what would it be? Let me know in the comments. And which other princess would look nice with tattoos? Let me know. 
and I'll see what I can do in the future. Thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this content, please hit that thumbs up button. It really means a lot. And subscribe in case you haven't yet so you won't miss any future videos I do. Turn on the bell for notifications. And thank you for watching this fun Friday. Binge watch some of my other videos and I'll see you in a few seconds. I'm glad some of you have completed my 100 Styles Art Coloring Book where you color all 100 of the character designs I made in Volume 1 to 10 of my Draw One Character in 10 Styles video series. This coloring book is double the size of my main line of coloring books. And many of you have watched me design each character from scratch in different art styles from start to finish. These books are truly special because you were part of the process. You've seen me approach each one of these character designs in my videos. And now you can color them however you want in different animated, cartoon, and comic styles. They're not sold anywhere else, only on my Mayu bookstore on Amazon. You know, I honestly wish I had someone like me when I was younger and learning art to provide me with their years of drawing experience and guidance. That's why I love making all kinds of coloring books, creativity books, how-tos, and art books for you. There are over 100 titles now because I know inspiration is one of the most important things to keep motivated no matter if you want to become an artist or not. I believe creativity is very good and healing for the mind and soul. And plus you're accomplishing something, which is a great confidence booster. I've also seen more of you completing my 30 days of coloring books. Some of you actually shared all of your work in those books, like one piece at a time. I love that you're dating each image as you complete them. Congratulations to all of you who have finished your 30 day journey. I encourage you to start another book in this series because your creativity is just like a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it gets. And that's why I recently released 30 Days of Kawaii Horror. It's a great continuation of the work you're already enjoying. I've made three titles so far in my 30 Days of Coloring series, and more are coming because I really love inspiring you to keep powering up your imagination on a regular basis. You can color as much or as little of each image as you want. There is no pressure and is a great daily stress relieving hobby. Once you're finished the 30 days, you'll have completed an entire book filled with valuable personal memories. You can proudly show your work to your friends and online. Go ahead and treat yourself or gift them. The link to my Mayu bookstore on Amazon is in the video description. Happy creating!